So, you're handling your company's social media accounts, and you're looking for tips and strategies that will help you not only grow your social media presence, but also grow your business through various social media platforms. Today, I'm going to share with you six unique social media tips that will help you elevate your social media strategy to the next level. Hi everyone, my name is Carly. I'm a marketing coordinator here at StrikePoint Media and welcome to StrikePoint Academy, where you can subscribe for weekly videos on different digital marketing tactics and strategies to scale your business online. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button and subscribe to our channel below. Before we jump in, we wanna let you guys know about our monthly newsletter, the Clicks to Conversion Report, where we send out our top case studies and show you the inner workings on some of our most profitable marketing campaigns. In the report, you'll get access to what's working and what's not working for our clients in real time. If you're interested, subscribe to the Clicks to Conversions report for free in the description below. Okay, let's dive in. Imagine you're in a room full of people and your job is to convince them to buy your product or service. Would you just start by yelling without first scouting the best potential customers or taking time to start a conversation with someone? Of course not. The same strategy should apply to your social media. The most effective businesses on social media don't just aimlessly throw out content and hope it converts. Instead, they take time to listen, plan, and connect. Okay, let's get to the first tip. Tip number one, take time to understand your goals and set attainable KPIs. This tip should be implemented before you actually change anything in your accounts. The planning phase is so crucial when it comes to your social media strategy because in a world where everyone is fighting for your ideal customer's attention, your content has to cut through the noise. First, determine what you want to achieve with your social media strategy. Here at StrikePoint, we set SMART goals. SMART goals are goals that are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. By taking the time to establish your goals, you create a solid foundation for the rest of your social media strategy. Once you've set your goals, it's time to set your KPIs, or key performance indicators. In order to measure the success of your campaign, one of the biggest mistakes I see a lot of businesses make is forgetting to track their KPIs before implementing their new strategy. It's vital that you have a baseline set of data to use to compare your new strategy's results against. Tip number two, develop a tech stack for success. Developing a tech stack for social media can really help you stay on top of the day-to-day -day responsibilities of being a social media manager. This means utilizing tools such as Planoli, Canva, Hootsuite, Sprout Social, or different software applications to help you create, post, and track the success of your content. Personally, I recommend using Canva and Planoli for your planning and content creation, but you're free to explore other options and find the one you feel the most comfortable with. Most programs have some form of free version, but if you want to take full advantage of what they have to offer, you're most likely going to need a premium subscription of some kind. Regardless of your choice, utilizing these tools can significantly improve your efficiency and quality of content. Tip number three, create templates to streamline content creation. One of the most common complaints I hear from businesses in regards to their social media strategy, or lack thereof, is not having enough time to consistently create quality content that engages their target audience. By front-loading the work and creating templates, you'll save yourself hours of work every month. Let's break this down by using the StrikePoint Instagram. After creating your goals and establishing KPIs, we created templates using Canva or Photoshop that can be customized to fit the posts we have planned for the month ahead. If you take a look at our feed, about 80% of all of our posts we're creating are using those templates. Because I have a design background, this is one of my favorite parts. But don't worry if you're one of the aesthetically challenged. There are plenty of places you can get free or paid templates that can customize to fit your brand guidelines. Tip number four, create content that your audience actually cares about. There's nothing worse than coming across a social media post from a business that is so clearly out of tune with their audience. You know the kind, that business that posts a meme that's a couple of years too old to be funny anymore, or the business that shares the same unedited sales pitch over and over and over. Not only can it make your audience deaf to all of the content you share in the future, but it can also really damage your reputation online. To avoid these mistakes, a general rule for success is using the 3-1-1 rule. What's the 3-1-1 rule? This rule states that for every five posts you create on social media channels, three posts should entertain or educate. One post should be a soft sell, 
and one post should be a hard sell. Whether you're a B2B business selling software or a B2C business selling clothing or anything in between, you have a target audience that consumes and looks for specific type of content. Finding that target audience and diving in, researching them, figuring out what trends they follow, what accounts they interact with, and ultimately what content they engage with will help you tremendously to not only establish relationships, but also hopefully convert those leads to customers. Tip number five, prepare your content a month in advance. I know this tip may seem obvious, but to some it's not. There's always gonna be one-off instances where it's appropriate to post short notice, but overall, you wanna have your content laid out a month in advance or more to ensure that you have the ability to be flexible and pivot in a world that moves incredibly quickly. This strategy also helps you make sure nothing is missed. Whether it's a special event or flash sale, by preparing in advance and scheduling your posts out, you'll always be on top of how your company or business is represented online. Tip number six, implement a consistent engagement plan. If one of your goals is to grow your following or increase awareness, this tip is essential to achieving success. An easy way to boost engagement on your post is to develop a hashtag strategy. This could be its own video, but to sum it up in a couple of sentences, all you need to do is research what hashtags are relevant to your business, what hashtags your ideal customer is engaging with, and what the competition is like on those hashtags. There are great free and paid tools for this depending on how deep you wanna go, but you can use this information to create three to five ideal hashtag groups for different kinds of posts. If you choose to use Planoli, you can easily copy and paste these into your scheduled posts. Remember, on Instagram, you're limited to 30 hashtags, so make sure you choose wisely to ensure you include the most relevant and trending hashtags. The first 10 minutes after you post are vital to your post performance. Take this time to engage with other people's posts that share your hashtags. Make sure you're leaving meaningful comments, not just things that say like nice or interesting. That's it. Those are six unique, simple, and extremely effective strategies you can implement today into your social media strategy to really elevate your content and increase your social reach. I wanna turn it over to you now. Do you agree with all of our tips? Is there anything you wish we touched on? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and we'll be sure to interact with you. Don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed this type of content and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And also make sure to subscribe to our Clicks to Conversions report where you get an inside look at our most profitable marketing campaign and funnels. This is where you guys can see what's working and not working for our clients in real time. The link is down below in the description. Thank you guys for watching. If you want weekly videos on digital marketing tips and tricks and tactics to help scale your business online, then subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you next time.